Hi, everybody. I'm Krista. I'm Kevin. We are LCRC Raceway. I am sorry we are three minutes late. Technical difficulties. I'm still not sure if we are live on Facebook. So if you are watching on Facebook, can you please comment and let us know? Oh, there we go. Sheena Michelle says hello. So on we Facebook. must be live on Facebook. So how about YouTube over there? I think we are live. It says eight watching now, but I'm not sure if the video is actually working. So if you're watching on YouTube, there we go. I think that is working. I hope that's working. Hi, everyone. Let us know. Okay. So, Shana Michelle, hi to Ed. Hi, Brett Butter. Hi, Taylor DeLosa. Oh, chat is disabled on YouTube. Why do I keep doing that? You want to know why? It automatically sets it to um, appropriate for children. Oh, is that right? They think that we are appropriate for children. That's why I always have to yell at you about your language. Okay, okay. So, you know what we're going to do? It is not made for children. Get those children off of there. Hmm. <sighs> I'm yeah. sorry. I feel like every week I have to fix a couple issues while you guys wait for me to click around. It's just one of those times where I'm supposed to entertain them while you do the back work. That's true. Anyway. I think that chat will be enabled now. So. Did anyone else see the roar slash beach post about doing away with the controlled tire for uh, 10 scale nets. Big doings there. Kind of crazy. Uh, anyway, I would love to uh, hear comments on it. But, uh, you can't see the comments. <laughs> I can't see the clock. Oh, uh, okay. There hey is guys. the Samojis. There's 10 pence. Um, hopefully I fix YouTube comments. If you're watching on YouTube, let me know. There's Brian and Tim and Kyle. Hey guys. Hey. Um, Dennis Bruce said video is good on YouTube. Thank you. Tim says hi. And who was supposed to supply the tire this year? I don't know the answer to that. Well, I believe I, it, it, they, they split it up. It's not always just, just one solid manufacturer. Mm -hmm. They use one manufacturer for a couple classes and, and another, another for a couple other ones. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't know though on that. Hello. So guess what? Hi, Bill. Um, so my technical issue. Tell me. Get this. When I would click my mouse, the click was happening. Like my mouse would be here and I'd click it and it would click here. So when I was trying to switch from the Facebook account like i have to switch off of krista and turn on lcrc it was clicking messages because it's like over that far I'm, you know usually i have a smart mouth and i just want you to know i thought ahead before i spoke and refrained from asking you why you just didn't move the mouse over and click on the but i did do that did you see it didn't work because then i wasn't clicking on that, that screen that was not the whole point like, she worked very hard. Who does this happen to? Right you know what I mean? Like, this is not, this is not <laughs> things. Hey, guys, we have um, a couple big announcements tonight. Uh, one in particular is big. We will be sharing a little bit later about our off-road season. So I'm very excited about that. Um, we also have some um, products to share with you that are new and back in stock and things you'll be excited about. Uh, Brett says, just when you think the tire shortage is getting better. I For LCRC, the tire shortage is getting better. We, our tire stock's pretty good right now, in my opinion. We're missing a few. That, aren't there always? Aren't yeah. you always missing yeah. a few? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, d yes, to be fair, we're not n missing near as many as usual. Well, let me tell you. And the other cool part is we do have like some of the rock steady ones that if all else fails, we'll just run these the whole time and it'll be fine. Mm. Yeah. Jordan, you are, you are mere three hours late. No. Do you have any campers to rent for the season opener? We actually rented our final camper about three hours ago for the season opener. So, sorry, Jordan. Um, Tim's on there, but I can't see his comment. Maybe he didn't say anything. Oh, now what did I do? Um, any chance you have a gear kit for a ProTech 160 SS? Uh, 
I for TVL or uh one sixty SS, I don't know. I can't answer that. Well, actually I can't you you can look it up, Dan. You know how to navigate the website. I have one or two ProTech gear sets and if it's not on the website, I don't have it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um so Brian just jumped in the comments. He said he's bringing a pit trailer for the prelude. Do I need to reserve anything or can I just show up? Sure. Brian, you have your option. You can just show up and there is um places for you to park and be able to plug in your charger and things like that. If you were wanting to run your um, air conditioner on top of the trailer, then we have spots that you could rent that would have like, if you if you needed something crazy, like a 30, a 30 to 50 or 50 amp. amp. Yeah. Okay. Um, Brett says product talk reminded me, thank you always for the fast shipping and having the starter box parts available. You are welcome, Brett. I actually personally packaged your order. Thank you for ordering. I, um, I was, I was impressed because um, I, actually before I actually looked at the name, I was like, oh, someone's thinking about n Nitro season and getting their stuff on time. Because you know, a lot of times it's like the week of mm -hmm. the first race that people get that kind of stuff. So thank you for ordering in the kind words. We really appreciate it. So should we start with the big news? Should we? How should well, we do okay. it? I don't care. We, I mean, we kind of started talking about products, so. Okay, let's do Te that. Maybe we can make them wait. Tease that out for a little bit. They don't mind waiting for the big news. Um, no, do the news. No, let's, let's do, let's do it. Breaking news. Driving me nuts. Yeah. Okay. Breaking news. Oh, P and B is in a week and a half. Yeah, you did kind of close. Mm. Okay, my my uh, doing credit for you is out the window. Uh, YouTube is working for comments. So there's Mike says question on the heavy duty pads for the two wheel drive slash. Are they worth it? The aluminum slipper pads, the priceless. Yes. Yeah, Jason sure. says the tire for Nats might be tied on road Nats experience recently. Tire, I'm sorry, tire for tied Nats to the on -road. might be tied to the on road Nats experience recently. Only part of the tire showed up in time, and then the second part showed up later. Same problem happened. Yes, yes, we remember. Yeah. Good point, Jason. We didn't think of that. Ed said, drum roll, please. Uh, Tim said, shipping is fast until it hits Buffalo. I know. I'm sorry. I wish. Listen, sometimes we get messages after it leaves here. We just have so little control over it. Um, in our experience, UPS is usually faster. Unfortunately, our favorite UPS driver, who has been our tied and true guy, broke his leg. So um, we are running off of UPS, whoever's on our route each week. The, and uh, nice young they're guys. doing a they, wonderful yeah, job. Yeah. But they're Stop. They're not used to our routine, and um, we're yeah. still trying to figure it out. So if you've shipped UPS lately. The other guy had us, like, super spoiled. So. He did. Yeah. He's, he's the best. Matt is fantastic. So um, awesome. Samoji is also going to PMB. Uh, so we will go ahead and give you share the news for the off-road season. Um, so for our 2024 off-road season, we are actually going to be holding a point series. The series will run from the season opener until the cancer race. So that's going to be April through September. Six races. Uh, it's a, all six races count towards no your um, final point standings. And then we will be holding a awards banquet. Um, more information will be released about that in the coming weeks. We're just want to, um, nail a couple things down before we, we tell you, but there will be an awards banquet, which will be a catered meal, and there will be um, special awards given to those series champions um, for the LCRC 2024 series. Taylor, if you attend all six races and you finish last out of all of the people that attended all six races, I will give you a special award. That's the one that really, um, one of the reasons we chose the no drop thing is that, you know, there are people that are loyally showing up that are doing fairly well. They might not necessarily win, but they do pretty well and they don't always get that first place, but they're here so consistently that I, we felt like this was a great way to honor those who are loyal to LCRC, who do well, even if they're not necessarily pulling off the big wins at you can challenge they just des they deserve some um honorable mention for their consistent People come to every race. consistent it's one it's one of the things place. i hate most about nascar nowadays oh. you know back in the day the points were points all season long and 
now it's none of that crap matters. Just like you know, having a point series of six races, but there's two drops. Yeah, well, like that. It, six races, no drops. Yeah, yeah. So um, Taylor <laughs> says he already uh, booked his vacation, um, so that he was set for all the LCRC races this year. Uh, Jody says uh, no participation trophies. Yeah. Um, Mike Green says, "Is the fifty plus class included?" No. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, Nick says, Kevin, oh, there's Nick DeAngelis. Kevin, do you have an off-road car I could just come up and try sometime this yep. summer? Yes, yeah. buddy. We'd love to have you. Um, Dennis Bruce says, point series. Love it. Awesome. Um, and oh. there is our friend Sonia. It sounds like something Jason Nate should do. Absolutely. We've got lots of good races. Come on out. Yeah, I'm really excited about the awards banquet. We This is something that we did with our Friday night point series is – we just tried to reward our local racers and we did Friday night racing and then we ended the, the series with a little points or with an awards banquet. It's something that we're familiar with, with our history in ATV racing. And Sharon Taylor threw some <laughs> amazing banquets. Yeah. Um, and hers were like, you go and you, we would go to this special hotel, the drawbridge. Yeah, it was like going to the prom. Yeah. yeah, and um, everybody would dress up. Oh, got gussied up. And it, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I I have lots of great ideas or um, things I think are great ideas. I'm really excited about having a special event where we can all get together in that social type setting, mm -hmm. but escalate it a little bit, you know, and really thank our racers for coming. You mean socialize somewhere in the warm with the lights on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brett says that is pretty cool. Adds a high level of competition that's already present. Thank you so much. Adds two. I'm sorry. I read too quickly. Uh, it does. Thank you. That's what I thought too, is that it would keep you motivated till the end of the season and have something, even if you're not winning each weekend, I have something to look forward to. Um, awesome. Mike is going to dominate with young hands. Oh, Mike Green. I was like, I don't know who Renquist is. <laughs> Hi, Kurt Seaver. Uh, Mike says that NASCAR is a NASCAR. Dumb rules. And Shane Michelle said that's awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys like the idea. <laughs> Shane Michelle. What did I say? No. I. You just said thanks to Shane Michelle, and then you followed right along with I'm so glad you guys all like the idea. I'm like, yeah, Shane Michelle, hope you look at, like the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Um, Shane and Michelle don't realize it yet, but but they are on the um, banquet committee for the series. <laughs> yeah. so. we've already um, actually assigned some jobs to Shane yep. and Michelle. So, yeah, <laughs> yep. obviously Shane we we will Michelle. we're gonna ask for consent first before yep. we. Uh, <laughs> nope, too no. late, <laughs> Dad. You're on the you're on the hook too. Yeah. I don't know if Dad's watching, yeah. but we've got jobs for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah. it'll, be, it'll be okay <laughs> yeah no that's not bad you guys will love it i promise so anyway that is the big news share the share it with your friends make sure everybody knows that we're going to be um doing an lcrc point series this year we're really excited um i will tell you that there is going to be a break um between the final race of the series which is at the cancer race and um the awards bank but because we want to get some uh personalized uh, awards for the winners so the, if that just kind of gives you an idea of how we're trying to uh, do this and then we're going to be seeking sponsors for this so we're hoping like prize giveaways and things that there's going to be a table full for all the people yeah. who are being awarded during that special event so anyway and if not, I'll come. Oh, Dad's in. Yeah. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Any late model nitro? Oh, so you're asking, are we going to award the nitro late model for the banquet? Yeah, probably not. It's too mm -hmm. too much to keep track of that. Sorry, Rob. Several several things with that. Uh, number one, that's an exhibition class. So. Um, no. Yeah. Just, <laughs> No. Oh, Shane says, or Shane and Michelle say, we are always glad to help in any way you can. That is absolutely for sure. They are the biggest helpers. Hey, let's talk about some of the products real quick. Um, and if anybody has any other questions about the point series, they can drop it in the comments while we tell them about some of the cool stuff that came in. Um, we received a J Concepts box. So you have to help me on this list because there are, a f no, I didn't mean it like that. There are a few things on this list that I really I, I want to say don't know anything about. Sure. 
and I don't mean that literally, but like, uh, you know, we can talk about the J Concepts tires. We all know what's up with that. Um, we are, um, I just, I, you know what? It, it's, it's been karma all day. Okay. Like you saying an hour ago about the time needed for the computer deal and, yes. get, you know, so what did I tell you was we were checking in the J Concepts order. I'm like, oh, you know starting to get a pretty good little stockpile of green reflex and you know mm-hmm. yeah and then i went to put them away yeah i don't not to, i mean we have some but i don't have the 60 or 80 bags i thought we probably have well they just consistently bags. sell in a way that you don't necessarily pay attention to well you know like, you, you've been doing the shipping for the last how many days yeah and you it don't, is crazy if you don't do all of it because you don't know where i hide them in the back i understand why you, you thought them i from. didn't know Okay, well, maybe it's just too high for your little arms to reach up there and get them. <laughs> anyway, you pull, you put away and pull from different places than I do. Blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, so we have uh, a fair amount of green reflex. Bear with um, me just a second. The gonna, video is going to go black for just a second. I was going to say, what's the, uh, what's the little computer say we have? Well, I'm going to work on that in just a second. Okay. So I'll keep talking while you're surfing around there. Uh, we got green relapse for buggy also. And we got a very, very limited supply of uh, two-wheel carpet rear buggy fuzz, fuzz bites. bites. Yeah, I think there was only 10 of the fuzz bites. That's these yeah. ones here. Um, yeah. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those haven't already sold. Um, but oh, yeah, I know there's not 10 left. We also got a really good um, stock of 20 of each wings. So the um, white and the black razor wings are back. Yeah, I was going to say, BB, sit back down in your chair. We did not get any yellow ones. Not yellow, just, just white, white and black white and for black. now. And we still, the only one we had left in stock was gray. I think we had probably four or six gray ones left. So yes. the only one we don't have still is, is the yellow one. Yeah. Sorry, I've been trying. Yeah, we're doing do the best we can, trying to get the good stuff in. So that's your J Concepts. We also got some ride height gauges back in. We had um, blues. I think we got blacks or vice versa. Well, no, we still had a couple blacks, but I, I've been trying to keep four or six of each of them. Yeah. And I try to fill the orders with extra of that aluminum stuff. And we, they sent us what they had. Yeah. So- I know out of the two black ones of ride height and camber, we're missing one of one of them. We have the other three. Yeah. So. Um, the other thing that we got back in stock uh, was the EarTech, um, the headsets. Yeah. We got those back in stocks. We also got a um, cool new thing. Uh, we have the uh, replacement cloth ear pads. Yes. And they are the new cloth ones. They're not the. Leather. Fle- yeah. I was going <laughs> to say fake leather. They have a word for it. Is it pleather? I don't. I don't know. No, anyway, it's the, pleather. Pleather. Yeah. The whatever the original ones came with, uh, they've now come out with an updated cloth version, which seemingly is going to hold up a lot better. Yep. And they're uh, only twenty three bucks for the set. I didn't think that was bad. Yeah. Now keep in mind that that's only that's two. So if you bought a single ear set, sure. like we have now, that you would replace. No, you'd only need one because. The oh. one, the one's the dummy, and the one good. I be- wasn't thinking because by rules, you realize the driver on the stand has to have one open ear. Mm-hmm. Just like when guys go up there wearing headphones or earbuds, mm, they should have le- one legally, that they, they only dare have one in. The other thing I wanted to tell people about that we have back in or that we have in stock now, it's something we've struggled with for a while, yeah. which is um, a nice charge lead. So this one is a nice RNL um, charge lead. This thing is uh, four millimeter bullets, like your banana, banana plugs, into the front of your charger, out to a five millimeter bullet, um, and it's two cell, correct? Yes, it is two cell. Um... Pardon me. I have I'm I'm two cell in the brain right now. I haven't shifted gears into a uh, eight scale off road yet. I think we have some nice four cell charge leads over there. I think, I think we do. Well, we should double check. I, that I will. I will. I just we've really been struggling with the two cell stuff. 
since iCharger and some of the other charger brands have changed the face of their chargers, meaning that they used to take four mil bullets and now they take XT60. Oh, no, wait, that one takes XT90. Yeah. <sighs> it's frustrating. And but also, while we're talking about that, sure. so the iChargers, some of them now, for the input, they take the XT60. Mm-hmm. Well, for, RL... You mean, when you say input, you're saying from the power supply to the charger. Correct. Yeah. I used to make the one that we sold under our header tag. Yeah. I don't have to anymore. R RL makes one super nice, and it's way cheaper than what I can make. Will you ever stop calling it RNL? It's RL. I know, but you each time you say R and L, then you go R L. I know because you say R and L all the time, and I don't want to correct you, so I'm trying to. Well, I think you, you started me. Well, on whatever. It. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. R L. R L power. Anyway, yeah. um, the power supply guy. We also got a um, part back in that we thought was going to be discontinued, which I was kind of excited about. Um, the new R or the not new, the reintroduced R X four seventy one. Um, receivers are in stock we have 10 of those and that thing works for the m12 and the mt4 and the m17 oh and the you should update your it does not it does not work for what it works for mt5 but not mtr one of <laughs> one of one of the mts won't go back to fh4 i'm not sure I'm sorry. Anyway, it works for 17 and 12 uh, for sure. I will tell you that is the receiver that's in all of my uh, A scale cars. We are going to jump back over to comments for a oh. second and catch up. Um, Nick Camasco, how will points work if you run Nitro Buggy Expert all year and then at the Mugen Challenge you run Intermediate? Ooh, Nick, way to throw a wrench right into things. Well, how right. will that work? That's a great question. Yeah. Are we able to? Mm. That, that mm. won't work. Will it? We're gonna have to work on that, Nick. If you if you have any suggestions, put it in the comments. Right? Mm -mm. Yeah. No, mm -mm. I mean they can, we can just ignore them. Well, <laughs> I I'll, I'll tell you how complicated that is. So, like uh, e buggy, we run expert and intermediate all the time mm -hmm. but then for nitro buggy we only run nitro buggy at most of them and then when we go and run intermediate and expert at mugen challenge none of those three classes are the same mm -hmm. it, it it's way more complicated than you think for the for the scoring It'd be different if the classes each had 10 or 12 entries in it and we could just hand score it and not worry about it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work like that. That's a very good question, Nick. I appreciate you completely blowing my mind on that point series. But we're still going to make it work. Yes, we we'll will. find I'll, a way. I'll figure it out somehow. Yeah, we'll, we'll get on the phone with Fiber FC and see if they can help with the ideas for that. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, Tim Deegan's wondering if Falcons, do we have those in green? Don't have them, won't have them, stop asking. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They, they Poor are Tim. they are the most in demand tire that I don't think we're gonna have until honestly I know when we'll have them. Right about the time it's too hot to run green and we'll all want aquas and Yeah. Guess who has those? Brett says I expect to hear the order printer going off in the next two to three minutes. He says OMG put aside put a side of the ear guards aside for Caruso. His leather oh. winds up in your face more than on the headset. Yep, oh yep, yep, my yep. gosh. No, it's good stuff. Dominic just said points races. What did I miss? Well, if you miss mm -hmm. the be beginning, Dominic, you don't even know what you missed. If you stand in line long enough for practice, you get extra points. <laughs> Um, so LCRC is going to be ha hosting a 2024 point series. It'll start at our season opener in April. It will run to the cancer race in September. There are no drops and there will be a banquet um, a, a ways after um, the cancer race to award our champions. Nick, you're almost like a mind reader that actually uh, having intermediate and expert nitro buggy all year uh, that that's going to be probably just about the only fix for it. So yeah, we'll probably do that. And our awards banquets for eight scale only, right? 
our point series and awards banquet is for eight scale only, or we'll do. We'll do them all. Okay. So then the only thing we'll really have to figure out is 10 scale from the cancer race. Oh, no, 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 no. When I say we'll do them all, we're going to do my plan. We should have talked about this before we were live on the internet, but my plan was to do our classes that we run at all of our races. So like Mm -hmm. Mugen or um, the cancer race where we add extra classes, we wouldn't do those because that's not a point series. You have to be able to run Mm -hmm. six races. Well, Okay, so then for 10 scale cars, we really only have five races. Because at cancer, we break it all up into the different 10 scale You're classes. Right. I hadn't considered that. Can we combine that? For, can we, you know, because 10 scale is that handful of entries. Maybe we could hand score that. Maybe. One. We'll look into it. Maybe. Way to throw a wrench in our exciting well, news. Well, no, <laughs> to, to, to be honest with you, um, not, not that I want to. What, what do you some of you complain about watering down the classes and having too many classes and blah, 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 blah. But I, you know, we've had intermediate e-buggy since, uh, I don't know. We had a big fit about that a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. We're like, that's it. We're having intermediate e-buggy mm-hmm. all the time, but we didn't do it for nitro. Well, well this is the year we're doing it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Don't. I'm not committing, Commit. but I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll discuss it because here's the thing. We consistently have, basically the way I look at intermediate class is that if we're always having a, a C main, the C main is our in, it should be our intermediate class, right? Like that's the way I look at it. Listen, if we had plus 40 intermediate, Reem and I would make the podium all the time. Yeah, you just want your award. Um, intermediate nitro all year round. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, nitro isn't big enough for intermediate. Thank you, Dominic, for your opinion. Uh, Taylor says, looks like Sportsman is going to be stacked this year. <laughs> Hello to Laura Naylor. Yeah, well, listen, we'll uh-huh. iron this stuff out. It's, uh, it's yeah. nothing to worry about. The majority of our classes are the same. There's a couple little hiccups and we'll work it out. Here's here's, here's the cool part. Um, I have the data and the ability to go back and look at it. And I can tell you exactly how many entries there were Um in intermediate and expert e buggy, and in nitro buggy versus the Mugen Challenge when there was the class was split, like we don't have to banter Argue. about what was what. I can literally pull up the computer and go back and look at it and write the numbers down, and you know we can have another little debate. Absolutely. If, if but we'll look at the facts. Instead if the of boss just... doesn't make a decision and drop the gavel, we can debate about it. Right, dear. I like it. Okay. I like it a lot. Anyway, we will find a solution. Thank you guys for the, your couple little... That, uh, I wanted... You had that receiver up on our screen. I know they weren't looking at it. But mm-hmm. uh, that 471 receiver deal, um, I'm going to try to buy another batch of those. And if I can pull it off, uh, we're going to have some of those brand new at the season opener yard sale on a deal. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to buy those in bulk and uh, and make something cool happen. I'm actually, I, I've been trying to talk Kevin into an auction instead of a yard sale next time around um, where we have a certain item, like it's this cup and like starting bids $1 and you guys have to bid in the comments um, and let stuff go. No, let, go stuff, let some stuff go. You know, for for a buck. Who, she, she who wants this cup me for off a next. Buck? My sprint cars. Huh, that was the start. Now it's going to be me. I wouldn't. Well, it hope depends I, on what they offer, really. Hope I, hope I bring more than a dollar. <laughs> uh, honey, I wouldn't give you away. I know. You sell me for a dollar. <laughs> um, okay. I, I know we also talked about this last week, but I want to bring it back up. Yeah. Um, the Thumper wheels are in stock and ready to go. Uh, these things were flying off the shelf last week. Um, yeah, you can't put bearings on them fast enough. It's yeah. Crazy. So these are um, part of our foam busters. So the foam buster is right here. We also have restocked on those. Yeah, I spilled 12 more of those today. When thank, you Thank you, by the way, for putting the bearings in them. I would have never got that many put together if you weren't putting the bearings yeah, in them. Yeah, I, I, I had a nice little assembly line on yeah. that. But these foam busters are, um, you put a tire in there and you are able to break in the foams inside your tires. The thumper wheel is um, to basically make that whole process faster. Yep. And I will tell you. Like, uh, so 
some foams, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about my uh, oval program last year. Some foams, I was running one tire, 20 minutes at a clip, and then checking it. A lot of times running, running a tire for two or three 20-minute sessions. So you're talking like an hour, uh, 40 to 60 minutes on, on one tire in that three-wheeled smooth roller. And if you put the thumper wheel on and run that exact same tire from new uh, for 20 minutes, you, you'll, you'll literally, you'll throw it away. It'll be, it'll be no good. That yeah, thumper wheel is like... Uh, makes us so much faster. Holy crap. Yeah. Very yeah. excited about that. Yeah. Um, and we sold quite a few of them last, last week. People had um, used different things, but when they saw that tire, they really liked it mm-hmm. and they wanted that one. So... Um, um, Samoji said, how about, how about your lowest scores dropped? No, we're not going to do any mm-hmm. drops. Nope. Um, so that's part of the point is like my award banquet is not for, um, for championships. Okay. This is going to kind of go down a winding road, but like in my ATV racing days, there were lots of times we were chasing championships and the people that were not there the most or consistent the most were not winning because people were chasing championships and playing the game. Mm -hmm. And um, that's not what this is about. This is who's coming and consistently doing the best. And consistency is key. um, And they are going to be awarded and and recognized. Mm -hmm. For sure. So it's like the average, right? We're, we're, We're dropping the highest and dropping the lowest and taking the average best. Nope. No. We're not dropping anything. No, but I'm saying I know, like I, if Adam Drake comes once, he's being dropped. Well, yeah. I'm not saying they're I know, but you use the word dropped and it, it's mistaken. Okay. If he won't be in the hunt because he's only going to have one. Even let's just say he came to the Flashpoint season opener and a music challenge. Yes. He's still not going to win the the championship. That that's what I was getting at. Yeah. Yeah. He, you know, Mayfield can show up to two of our races and take everything and not qualify for the championship. Well, he would qualify for it. Nobody says you have to be. He's not going to win it if he comes to only two races. Exactly. Okay. So Justin says, I would rather be dead last than the expert over winning intermediate. I appreciate that point of view, quite frankly. For me, to be honest with you, it depends if the expert class is full of drakes and mayfields and lutzes yeah if, who's it, your if, competition? It, if it's our local expert i i agree let's just make it you know i'm i'm never gonna beat you know schreffler and ethan and harmer and mm-hmm. all them but you know hell, i can barely even beat reem nowadays so ouch why is <laughs> just not reem because like he that? has a sense of humor and he knows i love him wonderful just, I hope, hopefully I'm still live. What happened? I just clicked on the wrong button. I think I'm still good. I just lost all my comments, is all. Oh, where did they all go? Well, I clicked the wrong button. That's oh. what happens when okay. you do that. Anyway, seemingly everything is still working. Um, I did want to share some of the other um, things that we had come in um, for our oval guys. We've got... McAllister Bodies. We are excited. Um, McAllister has come on as a sponsor for the Dream Race. Um, And uh, in conversation, we wanted to definitely bring their products on here as well. So um, we have have some bodies here in stock. Yeah. Uh, the a couple things that I learned today. Okay. The Placerville Sprint Car Body has a four thirty five seven by seven wing, and it comes with black screws instead Ooh. of the clear white ones. I like that. Uh, it's got a four thirty three front wing with a thirty thousand stick mount. Um, I, don't ask me details on the four thirty five. I'm assuming that it's more flat in the center. I think. I think. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to try and put one of these together on a, on a spare cage. Cool. Then there's also a Port Royal body. Who knew? Well, that's the one I think I have to build seeing as how we're right next to Port Royal. Uh, the, the Placerville seemingly is more for the conversion cars where the, and don't quote me on this. This is just Kevin's observations, but the, the Port Royal body seems to have more of the, 
layover front Lexan piece that goes in between the, the shock tower, like on an Outlaw 4 or 5. Uh, it has a 755 7x7 top wing. Again, comes with the black screws. And then it has the 70 or 753 large front wing, uh, I think, with again, with the 30,000th mount. But, uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm excited about that. It's been uh, quite a few years since we had. Uh, since we had anything in stock from McAllister and, uh, and yeah, looking forward to uh, trying some of that stuff out. So cool. Hi to Jared Barden. Thank you for hey. jumping on here today. Um, <laughs> and Mike Reeb says he has feelings too. Will you be kind? Um, and they said, we're still live. So we are hey. still on. That is good news. So kind of fun products. I think um, we also got a couple street or stock street. We got stock. what? <laughs> Um, back to one of the things I want to talk about originally, the MR custom stuff. Um, we got, we weren't quite out of, uh, real deals, which is that fancy pants, uh, 10 scale eight mile body for like the custom works and GFRP cars. But just barely. Uh, yeah, but we actually ran out, uh, today, right as we were checking in the new stuff. Yeah. So uh, we're fully restocked on real deals. Fully restocked on that 10 scale real deal. We had been out of the Iceman like for crate late and uh, SC late model uh, or eight scale. Uh, we've got, I think, eight, eight or 10 of those in. Yep. Uh, and we also brought in something new. Uh, we now have the uh, MR Customs Killer Midwest Mod Body. Uh, Krista and I spent a couple minutes trying to learn something about Midwest bot Mod Bodies today, and we found out this is... Uh, the two piece center, uh, the nose is 40 thousandths and, uh, separate from the, I guess we'll call it the main body, um, or body section. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. 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 But it, it has a spoiler, uh, available in the mold. Uh, it sells for 74 99. Um, we had a little bit of a, I don't know. We were questioning each other about the pricing and whatnot, but with the shipping and we're, we're priced competitively. So. Oh yeah. No, the, I, I think we, we found out that we were, we were good on pricing. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Very cool. So that kind of covers that stuff. Oh no, we were out completely out of outlaw fives. Oh, yes. Got 10 more of those in today. Yep, we're restocked on Outlaw 5s. The funny, we get more messages from people and more phone calls from people saying, um, your website says you have 10 Outlaw 5s. You clearly have a mistake. Uh, how Do you really have it? And uh, we tell them yes. So we get that message a lot. Uh, we really do have 10 Outlaw 5s in stock. So Well, not as of right now we do. Yeah, that is, that is accurate as yep. of right now um there was something else and oh i wanted to also can we just touch on this kiosho thing for a second sure blew my mind kevin ordered um a in-store a ready to run car which we haven't done ready to run since we started this gig it's been a while so when i saw an eight scale ready to run i was a little confused but i'm kind of excited about it now so do you want to tell us a little bit about the Kyosho 8 scaled Inferno MP9 e Well, it's an MP9, so it's one model older than the hot race car. Okay. Um, but, I mean, it has all of the characteristics of the, the MP9 platform, meaning, like, okay, the shock tower's cheapened up a little bit. But if you break or bend the shock tower off that's ready to run, you can come in the store and buy the super duper race car shock tower and bolt it right on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the drivetrain might just be dog bones, which ironically is now the hot ticket on the race cars. Right. You know, um, I think the, the shock bodies are the good ones, but the shock caps are cheapened up, you know, like, well, I think that the main point is it's only 550 it's bucks, 550 bucks. Um, it has Dean's connectors for a four cell battery. I'm pretty sure it's Hobby Wing, uh, Hobby Wing Electronics in it, and again, it's four hundred fifty or five hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, that's pretty you, amazing. You can't beat it. 
Yeah. So. so as far as a ready to run goes, you know, and newbies, you know, people that are just getting into this, it's a great option. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think so. And there's plenty of help here for it. Yes. Yeah. We have lots of yeah. Kyosho friends in our We area. did. We did bring in, uh, I think, eight or ten new SKUs of Kyosho parts when they came. Yep. Uh, we also brought in some more Mugen two wheel ten scale cars and another probably t- ten or twenty SKUs of different parts for those. Yeah. Um, which I didn't. I know they're all here and checked in, but I don't. Ha- I don't have them all up on the wall yet because I've been making tags and pins and. So I want to show you guys something on the website that you might not know about um, about how to find. So like. This MSB1 is uh, the new Mugen 10 scale car. I don't have this for every car, but ones that we stock very well. If you go to the shop drop down menu, or if you're on your cell phone, it would be over here on the side and it would show out. Uh, but if you go to shop button and then you go down to shop by the vehicle, if you go down to Mugen, down here, you're gonna find the MSB1 parts. If you click that link, here's everything for the MSB1 that we have in stock. We have three pages of parts. Uh, but as we add new products for this car, it goes right to this page. Um, and we have other cars on there, too, that are listed. You know, So if you're looking for... And, and sometimes I don't get them on the link tree, but they are still available. So like, let's just say we were looking for the MBX8R. If I were looking to just find a collection of those parts, I'm going to scroll down in my search window to the bottom, and it's going to see that there is a category for Mugen MBX8R Nitro Buggy parts and kits down at the bottom, and that's going to be this category. So if you're ever looking for like a whole collection, uh, that's the trick to finding it. If you if you hit the little search button and scroll down, it's going to be down there in the bottom under collections or categories. Takes, you, takes me back when I see the parts that I know we took pictures of in store because then I know we were the first ones to have it live on the internet. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, pretty wild. Yeah, so. Oh, cool. Jared, uh, good quality, ready to run. Eight scar cars have been much needed in this industry for a while, especially yeah. with the advancements in the electronics in the half decade or so. Pretty great price point for what you're getting. Kudos to Kyosho. Hopefully that some other yeah. others follow suit. We totally agree. It's yeah. nice to be able to have something, you know, for a long time, somebody would stop out and they're like, what's it cost to get into doing that? What they're doing out there right now. And of course you could talk to them about a tracks to slash, but if you started talking to them about building a kit from the ground up, we scared most people away before they ever had a chance. Yeah. So it's really nice to have something that you can yeah. encourage new I, racers. I love it. I love it too. Very cool. Yeah, for sure. Honey, what else is on our list? Uh, couple things i can talk about so there was a question brought up in store today about the tire rules for um for short core uh, mud boss at the prelude in the dream uh there it's been brought to our attention that the proline hot lap tire potentially might not be on the list um we're not going to dig into it right this second but uh oh, bulk grab i'm gonna help write those yeah, we'll um, right now chris is going to her official digital rule book uh if they in fact are not in there uh they will be added uh we are uh most certainly going to allow the the hot lap tire to be used that's um, a mud boss class that's correct well cool. i think he's right because when i just searched hot lap it did yeah. not come up <laughs> yeah so, well, it won't be in 12T or BL2. It would be on 13.5. That's right here. Yes. Hoosier. Yeah. No, we'll allow the hot lap also. Okay. Yeah. So you made a mistake. Yeah. Not me. I, no, I did. I even proved it and didn't catch it. That's okay. So yeah. we'll be adding the hot lap to that. We'll be, adding the, know. we'll be adding the hot lap to that. And... Uh, that'll also go on Midwest Mod. Uh, no, not Midwest Mod. Um, SC Mod. Okay. SC Mod and 13.5 will be allowed to use the hot lap. Um, oh. Um, the track. So I've been getting a lot of questions about um, uh, about the off-road track being open for practice, especially on these nice uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday weekends. Yeah, and, this weekend's a long weekend. A lot of people are off for Easter. Yeah, and and, and unfortunately, uh, 
Mother Nature has really gotten in the way uh, uh, this spring. Um, not to mention our our personal lives are are super hectic with the farm and and the farmhouse and mm-hmm. everything going on. That uh, I can't I can't sacrifice days of prepping the track in the mud to then turn around and have Mother Nature ruin it again before the season opener. So we've been kind of sitting on it, waiting for uh, waiting for the weekend before. And we're going to thrash on that thing and uh, and have it a primo for the opener. Yeah, and, we'll, we'll be watching the weather closer to time. But our priority is not going to be practicing on the track ahead of time. We're going to really have the priority be the practice of the season opener. Yeah. Yeah. And it con- no- it, listen, I look at it like prepping the oval. I can go out and put my heart and soul into making that thing pristine. And then one small weather event. And I'm like, ugh. And you have to go out and do something to it to fix it. Yeah. But now you're like, well, I'm not going to put a whole lot into that because I just did the, you know. So we're better off. We're going we're gonna to wait and we're going to give it one good room right at the end and, and get that thing up and running and, and have a good time with it. So. Yeah. So I think that's a, that's a good. And also it allows us to get the whole facility unwinterized and ready oh, to yeah. go kind of all same time which is well, is helpful to us that's another thing this is the worst time of year to have uh, equipment in the booth mm-hmm. because it's 28 at night and then the sun comes up and beats on the booth window and all of a sudden the booth goes from 28 to 78 in right. a matter of 60 minutes and that's when all the condensation builds and I, I just i refuse to take the electronics out there this time of year and you know Agreed. Take a chance on that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, really. I, I, good point. Speaking of the farm, um, we have a, a, a new new horse resident at our uh, farm. Um, our friend Pete and Kurt have um, dropped off their senior horse, Logger, who is going to stay with us for a while so that Adeline has a horse to ride. And so far, Logger, Timmy, and Lucy are getting along just fine. So, horse update is that, and now there was three. <laughs> so You mean, and now there is three. Now there is three. Um, and Kevin and I went on an excellent ride with our friends Pete and Kurt on Monday. Um, we trailered out both of our horses to a location. The horses trailered perfectly. Um, I think we're very, very well behaved on the ride, and we had a wonderful time. So maybe the news no one's asking for, but uh, horse update is a good update. We even crossed the river and nobody got wet but the horses. And get this, Kevin had to lead me across the river. Now, when I say that... My horse would, would not go down into that river. Um, I was doing... When I say river, it was not a river. It was just a big creek. It was not a river. But... It was pretty big, though. I like If I were imagining a creek or a river, I would re- imagine this closer to a river than a creek. Okay, it was a really, really, really small river. It was a small river. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, Kevin had to get his horse to go across the river first, and luckily... Hi, Tom. Little Lucy followed um, Timmy behind, but um, he yeah. was he was the big cowboy there. He had to lead us across. Uh, and only, then only because my horse is the boyfriend and her, her her horse is the girlfriend. But then we got to another little water crossing, and everybody else, especially Kevin, just do 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 do, and my horse was like absolutely having no parts of that. We ended up jumping. All she day. almost jumped on you. Too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that was super fun. Uh, we were also super busy working on the house. So those of you don't know, we were on the barn project. Now we have switched over to the house project. And contractors were in the bathroom. So, well, it'll be three days tomorrow of bathroom work. <sighs> yeah, the bathroom ceiling height was two stories high at one point this <laughs> week. Uh, our friend Owen was in the basement and I walked out and looked down because I could see right through the bathroom floor to Owen. I said, hello, Owen. And he said, hi. And I said, okay, well, I'm out of here because this is overwhelming and there's no floor. And uh, Owen said, oh, we just made your ceilings really high. <laughs> and he should have known that. I would love that because I love historic high ceilings. So <laughs> it was just a double, double whammy of that. So. 
Anyway, um, it's coming along quite well. Quite well. Consider. Yes. They, it, it's nice. Kevin's best friend, Jimmy, um, is uh, runs the show. I don't want I didn't want to just say he was the contractor because it's not just him. So like he owns the construction company that's working in the house. That's the words yeah. I was looking for. And he's um, the brains behind the operation. It's really nice to see the crew all like they get so much done in such a short amount of time compared to us. <sighs> so I will tell you, Danielle. Uh, Danielle just said, Hi, quick question. Are we picking up Kevin on Route 31 or on the way out to PNB? I did try to talk Kevin into going. Um, and Kevin declined, uh, after last hump day, I looked up to make sure he could still get entries and all the things. And he, he's backtracking on his excitement about going to PNB. I, he still wants to go. We actually already have plans that we can't, yeah. we're doing something special for Adeline's birthday and, um, we already have booked some things and. It's not really a, an option, but sorry. Next time, let's plan this in advance next time, and you guys can have Kevin for PNB. <laughs> sorry. 2025 PNB. Here we go. Yes. Uh, Matt says, hey, fancy blue parts, guys. Hey, fancy blue parts, guy. Do you have any blue 440 flat head screws? Bet you he does. Of course. Brett says he even has a pit spot ready. Yeah. I bet you do. Sorry. Matt, send me a list of lengths and quantities. I'll hook you up. No problem. Yeah. So, honey, you have anything else we need to go over tonight? The uh, opening of the off-road track for the year was the last thing on my list. The only other thing that we should maybe mention is um, that the camper reservation portal opened on mm -hmm. Monday. So we've gotten some bookings there. There's very limited spots left. Um, so if you were interested, it is open now. The camper booking portal is open for all the races. Uh, there are very limited spots. Yeah. Very limited. Um, yeah, especially after she got online and fixed my screw-ups today. It's okay. I'm, I'm just glad it worked out the way that it did. It yeah. could have been bad. Um, mm. No. <laughs> No. We have witnesses that say he's going. We could try to kidnap. You could try. Just show up here around uh, Friday. <laughs> they will be able to find you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah. Okay, friends. Well, that is it. We are out of here tonight. Thank you for hanging out with us. Um, we appreciate every one of you and every order. Thank you for allowing us to do this for a living. We literally... Um, couldn't thank you enough for your loyalty and your support. We're so excited about this series and this awards banquet, which is going to be a fun time to hang out together and um, excited to can be able to continue to expand the hobby shop too. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying. I mean, I know he sucks. You guys don't ever get to see the view from behind the camera, but um, the behind the showroom or the counter room thing, mm -hmm. It's a lot of work way. there. Um, Kendall will be so excited to see it. There is officially zero ATV parts left in the retail space. Um, and I mean zero. They're all gone. Never to return. <laughs> well, they're going to they're gonna go, be gone, gone very soon. Cause oh, I... They're leaving by the, by the bushel. Yeah. Time to go. Wow. Anyway, thanks, Tim. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate you. I am going to try to make this video not cut off, so I'm going to switch screens and then close down so that it runs to the end. So oh. all my YouTube people that are mad because sometimes I cut off too soon, we're going to try something new this time. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you next Wednesday. See y'all. For Home Day Happy Hour.